So these are the basic data types we are having in MySQL. Like int, int is it's a it, uh, signed or unsigned. Unsigned simply means signed simply means it will be having either plus or minus value, and unsigned means that will always be integer. That will always be positive. So for signed, this is the range that we can save in a particular column. For unsigned, the range is given here. It is double of exactly double of the signed value, and maximum width is 11 digits for an integer. Now, tiny int. Tiny int simply means small integer value. Basically, when you create a column and you give it a data type, now if you give the integer data type, so there are number of bits, number of bytes that are booked uh, for a particular data type in the database. For example, if you have given integer, 8 bits will be reserved for that. Whether there is a value for 8 bits or not, it will reserve that much space based on data type. So if we give 10 int, that means only 4 digits can be in that particular field, means number of bits are limited. But if we use int, it reserves more space than 10 int. Next we have small int. A small int is a value that is between int and 10 int. It can range from minus 3 to 7, 6, 8 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. This is for signed value, signed small int. We can have unsigned small int that ranges from 0 to 6, double 5, 3, 5. And its maximum number of digits, for example, if I give here small int, so the maximum number of value for ID can be only five digits. Five digit value. It cannot exceed more than five digits. It maximum it can be six five five three five. Again, uh, like that we are having medium int that is having its own range, big int that is having larger value than int or small int or medium int. Then we have float. For float value we have to give uh, how many uh, the length in terms of the number and then the decimal value for example we are having a value 5.334 so it is having three decimal three uh, values after the decimal point so while defining our float value in database float type we have to give that how many decimal places we want to have like I will do float and here I will give basically like 3 comma 2. Now this particular column will be able to save values up to two data decimal places only. If I give it a value like 5.334 when I try to save in this particular field it will save up to 5.33 only because only Two, two values are uh, allowed after the decimal place. So this is the way to give a float database type, a float data type. Now double is basically a value that is double of a float value. It is basically the number of characters that you can give, number of uh, uh, numeric values that you, you can give for a float is range is 16 into 4 means the value itself can have 16 digits and the decimal can have maximum of 4 digits. So here you can see again the decimal data type it is a floating point number and you can again give the maximum digits before the decimal point and digits after the decimal points. Now again here you can see date data type, it by default date is yyyy hyphen mm hyphen dd format. This is the default format of a date. Let's take a new column with this student. I will take admission date and I will keep it date.
from my table now here you can see I'm having a column admission date see when I click on this admission date I get this calendar I can select a particular date and it will be saved in this admission date so this is a date column likewise we can have date time column if I give a date time so it this column will accept time in addition to date timestamp timestamp is basically uh, it is number of milliseconds rather than saving the date it will save milliseconds for that particular date number of milliseconds for that particular date starting from 1st of January 1973 means if I give 5th of January 2015 Okay, uh, if you have given 5th January 2015, so it will calculate mini milliseconds from 1st January 1973 till 5th of January 2014 and it will take that number of milliseconds in that particular field. Again, we can have time data type it will save only the time, it will not have the date, then we can have year in which we will simply give the value 2, 4, 5, 6 and it will simply uh, basically having year value either in 2 digit or 4 digit like we can have year value either 1970 or it can be 70 so that basically depends on the number of the length of that year field. like in our student table if we keep it year I can define the length at the 2 or 4 so based on that it will save the value either like 1970 or only 70 based on the length that I have given default length is 4 if I don't give any length here I give the year data type and I don't assign any length by default it will take 4 again we are having character and worker now there is a different between difference between care and worker data type if we give a column care and I give it a length 30 now as I give this length this 30 length is reserved for this particular column even if the value for a particular column is not 30 character it is less even that it will reserve the space for example space for 30 characters is reserved like this like uh, consider there are 30 zeros so this is the total space that is assigned to a character data type even if I'm having only 4 4 4 4 4 characters or 4, 5, 6, 6, 8 like this value so these all will be wasted in memory location I will be having 30 length for this particular value even if only it is having only 4 length so remaining 26 will be wasted they will be result, re, reserved even if uh, there are not that much big value but if we keep it wear care so in case of wear care if we give the length 30 so where care simply means it is variable length means if I give the value to this column of only length of 5 then rest 25 can be utilized for other values it will not be reserved it will reserve only that much space in the memory that is required for that particular column so we always prefer where care data type over care type So here you can see the length of value is 0 to 255. 255 characters can be maximum and it can have 1 to 255 characters. And blob is basically a data type that is used to save 
either the binary data or some kind of images data or if we want to save our files into database rather than saving our files onto our server on our web server what we are, we can do we can also save our files into a database so in that case we have to keep the data type of that particular field to be blob or text again tiny blob is smaller value smaller version of blob medium blob or medium text we can keep long blob means the range of the value increases if we give long blob it is having more range than blob enumerated it's a special type for example here is a field let's take a field for this For example, I'm having a student table and what I do here, I'm going to add a field, for example, what we can take. For example, uh, we are having three groups in our class like group A, group B and group C and we have divided all the students of our class in three groups. So in that case I can have group. So here I can give it the value enumerated. and. for enumerated values now I want that user doesn't have permission to save for example I'm having three groups A, B and C but if I keep this particular field as where care then I cannot restrict a user to save only A, B or C in this column he can have any values if I give it even length one so user but I'm having I'm, I'm, ha I'm having only three groups in my class A, B and C but, but user is free to save here D or E or F whatever single single character he can save any of single character I cannot restrict him so if I want to restrict a user to save in a column only those values that I'm having that I want to so in this case, case I can have enumerated data type and I can give values like A comma a then B then C so here you can see I'm ha having values A B and C now if user tries to give value D, D to this column that will not be saved in this column 